Hey devs, back again for another two minute tools and tips Tuesday. This week, I wanna take a look at how we can view the call hierarchy for a function or method within our Android app. So here's an example of a basic main activity written in Kotlin. Now let's say we wanted to find all the places where the method load data is called from. How might we go about doing that? Well, we could use the find usages tool. In this case, you could right click on the method name and click find usages or use the shortcut. We'll see here that load data is called from a single place. And if we double click on that element, we can jump to that spot in the code. Now let's find all the places where update UI is called. So again, we'll do a find usages and we'll see that it's called from two places. We're gonna jump to where it's called in the load from DB method. Now, if we wanna know where load from DB is called from, again, we could do a find usages. We'll double click to jump to load data. And now we wanna know where load data is called from. So again, we'll do a find usages and we'll see that load data is ultimately called from onCreate. So now we know that update UI will ultimately be called from onCreate through several other method calls. However, if we remember, it was actually called from two different places. We've traced one flow, but that leaves a whole other flow untraced. Now we could just continue to trace these flows using find usages, and that would work. However, there's actually a better option out there that lets us visualize these call hierarchies in a more efficient fashion. If we place our cursor on the method that we want to trace and execute the call hierarchy command, we'll be presented with a new tool window. That tool window will show the call hierarchy for each of the invocations of update UI. We'll see here that we can start to expand each of these options and trace the calls from the original method name of update UI all the way back to mainactivity.onCreate. We'll also see that there are two top level items here, one for each invocation of update UI. If we jump to the load data method and execute call hierarchy again, we can see the call hierarchy for this method. We'll see here that it is called once from onCreate. If we look at the top of this hierarchy pane, we'll notice a number of icons. We see the scope option here will allow us to choose which scopes we want to view these hierarchies within. The two elements on the left-hand side allow us to change the call hierarchies from top down to bottom up. So we can choose the direction in which we want to view these traces. If we select the auto scroll from source option, then when we select an element within the hierarchy, we'll jump right to that spot within the code. If we close an open trace, we'll either be closed out of the window or take into a previously open hierarchy view. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you want more tools and tips, you can check out the full playlist on my channel. And if you want to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, devs.